Hello children, this is Nikhat Parveen teaching English in class 4. And today we will be doing the explanation and exercise solving of the poem run and countable and uncountable nouns. So let's begin. Children, in this poem, the poetess has laid stress on the importance of exercising Running is the easiest exercise for everyone and so she asks all the children to run away from the crowded cities into the villages to enjoy vast fields, clear sky and feel as if they are running into the sun. According to her, running can be enjoyed in different weather. Children should enjoy the raindrops which will fall on them when they run. Feel the cool breeze in the shade of the tree and compete with gently blowing breeze. Running will make them happy and strong to handle the challenges of life. Success will come easily to children who adopt such a way of life. Now let's start with solving the exercise. So, as you know children, you will begin the chapter with writing the date, proper chapter number, chapter name. And then you will write the first heading and then the difficult words and you will copy them twice. Then comes the second exercise which is word, meaning and sentences. So the first word is neath. Children, neath is the short form for beneath which means under. So we can make a sentence like we had a picnic beneath the large tree. The second word is breeze. Breeze means a light wind. And the sentence you can make is a cool breeze touched her face. The third word is hillside. Hillside is the sloping surface of the hill. And the sentence will be there was a wooded hillside on our left. The fourth word is meadow. Meadow means field of grass and the sentence can be the road went to a beautiful meadow. Mm -hmm. The fifth word is merry which means happy. The sentence will be there were merry greetings for the couple. Children you can always make sentences on your own. Now the next exercise is answer the following questions. The first question is what does the poem tell us to do? So children the poem tell us to run and to remain happy throughout the day. Second question is, where does the poet tell us to move away from? As I told you in the explanation that the poet tells the children to move away from the city and go to the country side. So, the next question is, what does the poet mean by run and be merry? The poet mean to run around and enjoy the nature and be happy. Question 4 is, why does the poet tell us to run? Children, the poet tell us to run away from the city towards the village so that we can get in touch with the nature and admire it. Question 5 is, how many times does the poet use the word run? So, if you count in the poem, it is altogether 11 times. Next is the homework which you have to do. So, the first question is, where does the poet want us to run? Children, you read the poem once, listen to the explanation and then solve this question. The next is, give rhyming words for the following. Rhyming words are to be given from the poem. Children, we will solve the exercises of grammar nouns countable and uncountable so let's start children here the first exercise is to write c for countable nouns and u c for uncountable nouns so children as i told you that countable nouns are nouns that can be counted and they can be made plural and uncountable nouns cannot be counted they cannot have plural forms so, we will use this concept in our exercise. Let's see which are uncountable and which are countable. The first one is oil. Children, can we count oil? No. Can we make plural of oil? No. So, it will be uncountable. The next one is egg. So, 
can we count egg yes can we make plural of egg yes so it will be countable children you have to solve the exercise in the same way next exercise is circle the correct words in these sentences so children here you have to see that we use much a little a lot of some and any with uncountable nouns to show quantity how much do you need because there is no noun specified over here the next one is there aren't dash oranges in the bowl and the options are some and any children here you have to note that for uncountable nouns we use any after the negative isn't and for plural countable nouns we use any after aren't children you have to do the others by yourself children the next exercise is to use the nouns in the brackets to complete the sentence first one is sheila bought a dash and some dash options are juice and cake children here you have to remember that if we want to talk about the quantity of uncountable nouns we use a or an plus countable noun of uncountable noun for example add a spoonful of sugar to the milk children you have to solve this exercise by yourself that's it for today i hope you have understood the video so children stay home stay safe goodbye